Master Shots Before flight, observe your surroundings carefully and make sure to choose an open, unobstructed space. After takeoff, adjust the aircraft to your desired height and position. Tap the shooting mode icon on the right side of the camera view. Select Master Shots. After selecting the subject, the aircraft will automatically select one of the three flight routes based on subject type and distance. Portrait, Proximity, Landscape. Portrait. When a person appears in the frame, you can tap the plus icon in the camera view or drag a box around the person to initiate the portrait mode of master shots. After confirming the subject, the map expands automatically in the bottom left corner, and the estimated flight routes and area are displayed in the map. You can adjust the width, length, and height of the flight area based on your surroundings. Tap Start to begin shooting. Scenery If the subject is scenery, the aircraft will automatically calculate the distance between the aircraft and the subject once shooting starts, and select proximity or landscape based on the result, with the flight routes displayed in the map. Next, let's take proximity as an example to see what shots the aircraft will perform. Droney Circle, far Pitch up plus fly forward. Circle close. Circle medium. Rocket. Camera down plus flying forward. Camera down plus circle. Camera straight plus descent. Camera down plus descent. How to exit master shots. During shooting, tap the red icon on the right side of the camera view. Or press the flight pause button on the remote controller once. The aircraft will exit master shots immediately and hover. Note that accidentally moving a control stick will also stop the shooting. How to use the editor. After shooting is complete, tap the playback button to preview the footage. Tap create master shots to preview the master shots video. More templates are available for creative editing. Thank you for watching.